Previously available for Android only, Google's all-knowing personal assistant, Google Now, has hit iOS as of today. We suspected this was coming when, last month, a demo video popped up showing off the product. Now Google Now is available for iOS within the Google Search app. If you already have Google Search on your phone, just update. And for iOSers who haven't used Google Now much before, what it does is basically give you a home base for all kinds of vital information you need throughout your day. These are organized by cards, which you can access along the bottom of the search screen. You can customize these to show you everything from sports scores to stocks to weather forecasts and traffic, public transit info, travel documents, and nearby places, all in the clean, friendly design we've come to expect from Google. In the settings, you can decide which ones you want to show up and with what information. When you don't need a card anymore, just swipe it away. There's also voice in the Google Search app, roughly comparable to Siri in helpfulness. The slightly higher-pitched Google Now Assistant can help you with basic searches, and here's a quick side-by-side -side of just one of those. Coffee shops near me. There are several listings for coffee shops less than a mile away. Although Google now said shops within one mile, the top results were places not that close to my location. The place across the street was seventh on the list, for example. In general, as with Google as a whole, the app feeds on a symbiotic relationship between your data and the speed and convenience you desire, i.e. the more information you give, the more you'll get from the product. This means you allow Google to use and store your synced calendars, your email, Google data, as well as your location at all times, not just when the app is in use. You can and read more in your account settings under location reporting. And by the way, if you use multiple Google services on your phone, say Latitude, you'd need to disable location reporting on each of these individually. Skeptics could be thinking one of two things. First, those who are sensitive about privacy might feel a little leery of Google's all-seeing eye tracking you wherever you go. Secondly, won't all this location stuff murder your battery life? As it turns out, not really. Location reporting has been optimized to use GPS as little as possible, so in the two hours of my using this app, it seemed to make little difference in the battery life of my iPhone 5. Of course, Google Now for iOS lacks some of the features of the Android version. Because it's not native to the phone, it doesn't run in the background and doesn't send alerts. You have to visit the app to get your information. As a basic one-stop for everyday info, though, it's a good start for iPhone and iPad users who want the best of Google and Apple worlds, as long as you're okay with the data trade-off. For TFM, this is Annie. And don't forget that Richard Ryan's Tech Assassin premiered earlier today on TechFeed. Be sure to click the link to the left to see a behind-the-scenes look at him shooting a Galaxy S4 with an M82.